Another college game day. Clemson is getting ready to start uh, against Syracuse. And Syracuse won last year by, what, three points? Anyway, good luck to Trevor Lawrence and the Tigers. Uh, Carolina goes up against UK, Kentucky, and they got a good, game, a good season going 4-0. So Gamecocks are going to have to bring it. Today, what we got for our cook is Janet's got a macaroni salad she's gonna put together and what I'm gonna do is some lollipop chicken out on the grill and uh, so here are my you stay tuned chicken drumsticks what I'm gonna do is take them out the package I won't show you this I'm gonna wash them off get them ready and then we'll start to uh, prepare them for the grill okay Stand by. I've done a few, I've gotten a little better at it. Let me show you one more. First off, I just take and take the cleaver and just square this bone up on the end. You're gonna take a little bit of your meat off, but not much. Just It'll just be a little half a teaspoon. That squares up the end, if I did it right. I may have missed it a little bit. All right, you got that done. All right, take your, your sharp knife and just hold your drumstick by the big end and work your knife around. Once you feel like you've cut that around, just pull it and then it'll, it'll just put, hold your thumb against that knuckle and it'll just work it right off of there. You know? Be careful not to cut yourself. You're not used to working with knives. Uh, all right. Then you pull this down and find that sharp bone. And when you find it, it's in there. You work this knife blade up under it and pop it off. All right, there's another piece of it right there. You can go on down. You see it right there? You can go on down, hold your thumb on it, and pop it off. Then you don't have to contend with that. Then take your cleaver or your knife Scrape your bone down, and there you go. Make sure your skin's back up over it. If you got any of this cartilage hanging off, you can just whack that right off if you want it pretty. There you go. Well, you can see you it's a little up. bit of preparation time built into this cook. The cook's not hard itself, it's preparing for it, so. I'm gonna do the rest of these. I got 17 to do. So uh, I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, we got uh, our chicken wrapped, prepped and wrapped. So what we're gonna do next is put some rub on them. I'm going with Killer Hogs AP Rub. I think this is basically salt, pepper, a little garlic, maybe onion powder, I'm not sure. I hadn't looked at the container. So we'll just uh, let that have a liberal coat of that. And I know what I'm getting ready to go on next has probably got salt and pepper in it. Malcolm Reed's The Barbecue Rub, or The, yeah, The Barbecue Rub. Got a little bit left in this one. I'm gonna let them have a nice dose of this. We'll be using the Weber Smoky Mountain today. I love that grill, that smoker. I got it set up as a grill because I have the uh, the grilling modification done to it. Just putting some brackets five inches down from the uh, top grate. And oh my gosh, you can just do so much with that thing. All right, I'm gonna finish uh, seasoning these chicken legs, doing some chicken lollipops, and uh, I'll get back with you. I'll meet you outside. My temp is up to 379. I've been sitting out here a while because uh, it's taking me a little longer to prep this chicken. Just put a little 
grease on the grate so we won't have sticking chicken. Here is your chicken lollipop. Stand up there boy, I must not have cut that one square. Put the meat down and square it up a little bit. The meat will square it for you. There you go. Ooh, got some singed hair there if it reaches across that vortex. Don't do that. Woo. We'll let that do. Okay. We're going to let her go. Close her down. <clears throat> yeah, this Weber Smoky Map is so good to cook on. I'm going to start this timer just because I have one and keep up with the time. Okay. There we have it. And it started raining on me. You know, as you can see, I'm under this umbrella. I do that a lot. All right, we'll come back in about an hour and check these things and go make the sauce. Roast the sauce together for this lollipop chicken legs. So uh, what I got going on, what I'm starting out with is uh, a little over a cup, cup and a quarter of some vinegar based barbecue sauce. This happens to be a mix 50-50 of Richard's. These are local sauces. I apologize for that not being available out on the market. Richards and Prosser's, you've heard me speak of them before, so we go in with that. And I'm going to use a little bit of cranberry juice because it's red. We go in with that. Just keeping the theme red. Red, red, red. Uh, I'm going to go in with some hot sauce, Texas Pete, just whatever you would want, but it'll take a, a nice tablespoonful. Okay, then good old pepper jelly, red pepper jelly. We go in with some of that. All right, we get full here. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna throw in some killer hogs, barbecue rub. I'm gonna go in. I know they have paprika in their rub, but I'm gonna go in with a little more paprika just because it's red. And a little bit more honey with sweetener for sweetener and to thicken it up a little bit and I am overflowing. So we're gonna get a different container to put this in. Hold on a minute. Okay, shall we continue? Alright, I'm gonna go in with salt and pepper. This is the AP rub by Killer Hogs and it is salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic in there, I'm sure. All right. Let's see what that looks like. Loosen it up a little bit. That pepper jelly's thick. I can feel it loosening up some. And I'll put a little more pepper jelly in there. Folks, this is not a recipe I'm following. This is just stuff I'm throwing together. You know me. I don't follow too many recipes. I just make my own. We're always told to make it your own. Let's taste it. That's good. This needs to be a little thicker. I'll figure that out but uh, and let you know what I end up doing. All right, I'll meet you out at the grill when it gets ready to go on. Chicken's still out there. It's time to put some sauce on. This chicken's done. It was actually done in about 39 minutes. It really was. I was kind of surprised. I'm just going to take this uh, little thing here and dip them. That's so much easier than trying to mop them. See, it's perfect. Just dip them in there and stick them back down. I love doing it that way versus trying to mop. It's perfect. Doesn't take long either. Okay, 
This is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of minutes. And I'll get back with you. You stand by, hang with me. All right, it's time to dunk them one more time. One more time, I see the sauce and the bacon is crisping up. Yeah. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lollipop. Chicken. That's pretty, that makes a pretty display. Sure All right, let's let that set for about, I don't know, five, six minutes or so. It's ready to go really right now. It's been an hour and 22 minutes. This chicken was done 40 minute mark, <laughs> as far as 165 degrees goes. But uh, ain't that pretty. Woo Let me back out a little bit. You can see my setup. Okay, now, that's pretty right there. Yes, sir. Look at that. Lollipop chicken. Looks done. Lollipop chicken done. Janet's got her sides done. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Let's go in for a taste so test. I, I can see right now anything with sauce and honey and all that in it. I better have a paper towel ready. <laughs> uh, make sure I take the toothpick out this time. Thing like mm -hmm. last time I tried this, I Woo. bit down on the toothpick. Okay. All right. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Lollipop chicken. You could call that candy apple chicken. Mm -hmm. Wrapped in bacon. Oh boy, my mouth's watering. Think I should do it? Yeah. Let's go in for it. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks great. Taste. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> With bacon on it? Smoked chicken. <laughs> well, it's got a little kick. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a little the sauce and the the pepper jellies in there, mm. and the killer hogs rub. But boy, that's good. You can't beat that. I know mm. it's work getting it to this point. You know, the yeah. prep time, but it is so much fun to eat it like this because you don't have to fight any bones, any anything. It's just ready to go for you <laughs> to take a big old bite. Mm -hmm. All right, that's our. College football game day. Oh, by the way, today. Clemson won their game by the hair of their chinny chin they chin. Lost their premier quarterback. Well, we don't know that yet. But well, we for the hope day. for the best for him and in, in, in the team. Yeah. But uh, Carolina plays tonight, so guess what? I'll get to sit back and actually watch the game and not have to be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna watch my. I game. hope you enjoyed coming along with us. If you like our channel, like our videos, like what we're doing. Reach down in, hit that subscribe button, and like, hit the like button. It won't cost Until you Until next anything. time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. And that's right. See you later. Bye. Bye.